Who's starting? Okay. I think I'll start. No, yeah, go ahead. Whatever. Hi. Uh, I'm Avery. My name is Matt. That's or Matthew. Matt. Whatever. We're brothers. And Not by choice. We've been talking for a while about doing a YouTube channel. Uh, because we feel like we're entertaining. Uh, may not be evident from this video. This is the first one. We've not done this before. We've never done this before. We're probably not sitting correctly. We're probably not focused correctly. We're in a 95 Camaro. We don't care. No, we don't care. That's the beauty of this channel. So basically what it comes down to is um, we're going to talk about various topics. Uh, and what we've kind of worked out in our heads is that I'll come up with a topic, I'll present it, I won't tell them what we're going to be talking about, and we're going to talk about it for 10, 15 minutes, or however long it takes, and then that'll be it. <laughs> you may not like the topic, so don't watch this. If you don't like it, don't watch it. We don't really care. Nope, we don't. Um, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like this is... <laughs> we don't care. We don't care. So, just to set the, set the stage here a little bit, we both grew up in the Midwest. Um, we grew up on a farm. Fruit. Uh, fruit farm. No fruit, cows. Fruit farm. No animals. <laughs> Chickens. Uh, we did have sheep, I guess. Gin, chi so, and yeah, chickens. So, yeah, I guess we had animals. That's fine. <laughs> uh, and we are... We just... Uh, we have an idea about how to work. And we have some ideas about how the world should run. And they may not be your ideas, and that's okay. Yep. Um, our opinions are our own only. <laughs> Until and, we share them. And, and sometimes, they become... they're, sometimes they're differing opinions. Most and, of the time. So, so that's okay. Um, I, live, I live in Denver. We're currently in Vegas, where, where my brother lives. I live in Las Vegas. And we're in his shop. We have this, uh, we're in, a, as he mentioned, we're in a 95 Camaro. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a, a piece, but, uh, it's our piece and we're flipping but, it, but it's our piece and we're trying to sell it. So by the time you look at this video, it will be long, it will gone. Be long gone or, Whether... <laughs> or we'll be very unhappy. Yeah. Um, so, uh, my topic, I'm ready today. My topic today is, uh, since I'm here in Vegas and I've, I've noticed uh, this quite a bit. <laughs> homeless people. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, homeless people. Homeless people. So there's a lot of homeless people here, and I wanted to. I guess we'll we'll talk about why are people homeless. Mm. And Let's just start them off right. How do we? Well, I. <laughs> We there can. are issues. Oh, ju just so you know, this is we are going to keep this as unpolitical as we can. As we can. As as we can. You may offer uh, a comment to us, and if we don't like it, we will ignore it. If we do like it, we may ignore it as well. It doesn't know. We don't care. We don't care. We're not going to tell you our political views. We are not taking anybody's side. figure it out. Maybe. They will. They will. You will. It doesn't matter. But we're not going to try to get political on it. So our views are just what we see in everyday life. And in this topic, I guess, Avery is not I went here. I went political immediately, apparently. You did. He's not here very often. He doesn't have... He might have it in Denver. And we um, won't be doing this topic. together like this all the time. No. No, we're lucky to be in the same state right we're now. We're not typically like So this. what would you like to know about homeless people? Or what do what you is, want to say about it? How... How, first of all, how does someone become homeless in this country? Especially in this time period where there's so many jobs. You want the honest opinion? I, I, that's, that's what we're doing here. <laughs> that's what we're doing. <laughs> well, there's a couple things. I, I, I believe that some people, uh, honestly, truly, don't want to work. That may be the hard, hard way to start, but they may not want to work. Um, I also believe that some people are sick and can't get proper treatment or have the proper treatment but can't pay for it. They run out of money, and uh, they run out of support from local, city, national venues, and they end up that way. Other people really, really love cocaine. Okay, perfect. Why does it have to be cocaine? Heroin, uh, methamphetamine. Drug, drug of choice. Drug of choice, oxy. Okay. 
yeah. Is it possible? Is it possible that people fall into that situation just out of bad luck? I think it is. I, I think a string I, of bad luck. I think it could happen. I think it, I think you could get medical bills, and your you, the the value of your house goes way down because of something. We saw that in two thousand nine, or two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Uh, and you just you run out of a support system. Okay, I, I I will take that as a as a possibility. But then, how long do you stay in it? See, that's where I have a problem. Yeah, is I, that I agree. Is that Walmart is always hiring, and yes, you probably need a a, a home address, but I don't think you need a cell phone. Um, you need a social security card that may have burned up in a fire. You may have lost it. You can apply for another one. Um, if you're homeless and you're any good at it, you can you can get a <laughs> if you're good at being you, homeless. Well, you can get a couple bucks from somebody. Uh, if you've exhausted all of your friends before you buy, there's maybe another problem there. Then there's maybe another problem. But if you can muster up a little bit to get a little bit of money, get your card back, and then go get a couple pairs of clothes at the th- at thrift stores and savers and places where people can give you a pair of clothes and go get a job. Even if you stand out at Home Depot or outside of a nursery uh, where they're doing things, I think you can find something to do that people will give you money for. So, so it, it it's a timeline. So line it's a problem well. that you can work your way out of. You think? I think so. I think I probably agree with you there. Um, we agree on some things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I I think I agree with you there. I don't I don't think that we should have a homeless problem. Um, however, I do think there are sometimes extenuating circumstances. Luckily, maybe I guess I don't know. I don't think a lot of homeless people will be watching this. No. So I will tell a quick story if I can. Right outside of this when back you were door. Homeless? <laughs> right outside of this back door, um, across the street, there was a homeless lady sitting. And then she, she was talking to herself, as most of them do loudly, that we can all hear with my door open during the warmer months. And then she started screaming. And then she started bugging the walker passerbys, getting in their face, doing other things. And it got to the point, oh, by the way, I'm... That's a, that's a mental illness issue, though. Yes. However, okay. I'm getting to that. So I'm six foot seven, so I'm, I'm not average height. Let's just put it that way. So I, I say to myself, you know, and then she started throwing rocks out into the street. And I am a car enthusiast. I like cars a lot. We're I sitting don't, in a car. I don't, I don't like to see them uh, hurt in any way. Kind of like how people like cats, perhaps. Or dogs or ferrets. I don't care for cats. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, so I, then I finally walk, walked over there and she... I got her to You're, calm down. Turn your phone off. Oh, sorry. I got her. <laughs> you set it down. You didn't <laughs> okay, turn it all right, off. Okay, all right, fine. There. Back. Don't put, no. No? no. Okay. okay. So I got it, I got it um, under control, got her settled down, and she wouldn't actually talk to me. She had a pad of paper, and she would write down everything and then hand me a piece of paper. And after about 15 pieces of paper, I realized there was more than just being homeless for her. Um. And so that can contribute to some of the cases of homeless acidity. Mental issues. Mental issues. Uh, not the correct uh, diagnosis for... You know, you, you're off your meds. You're off your meds. You can't afford the meds. The government takes you off the meds. Um, you picked a really strong topic to start I with. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like it a little night lighter next time. Which oh. it will be because I get to pick. It's his How turn next. So... so We'll figure that out. I, I I will say this. In my circle of friends that I have and the people that I have influence over on a day-to-day basis, I will give to them happily and frequently. Um, I will say, honest and open, I do not give money to any homeless people. Me neither. I will give an apple if I have an extra one in my car. Food is fine. Uh, I, I have socks. That if I'm to the point where I know they're not going to last me much longer with no holes, I will give them socks. Nobody wants your socks. 
If you even, were, if you were homeless, even homeless people don't want your sock. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. What they do with it after that, I guess, is up to them. So I'll give clothing and food. Sometimes. But I will not give a dollar because uh, if I gave to everyone in Vegas that asked me for money, I wouldn't have any to feed my family. So that's that's what I think. That's I think your take on homeless people. That's my take on homeless people. Uh, they're smart to be in Las Vegas because it's warmer than Nebraska. And, but and Denver. And sometimes I'd rather see them go to Nebraska or Montana. That, that is not nice. <laughs> well, they, they they'd find work. They could work somewhere. <laughs> they would have to find a they warm place to, to sit. Something that's for sure. But anyway, okay. So. Well, anyway, this is. We don't know how the format of this is going to go. It might be something like this. It it hopefully is a little bit more lighthearted. Sorry to start out on a mm. hard topic, but yes, um, we may revisit this at some point. Maybe not. And we will try not to go very long, so you keep yeah, your attention if I, you want. I think we're at about ten and a half minutes, eleven minutes here. Yep. So um, that's that's our take for today. So uh, how do we sign this thing off? <sighs> Have a good day. Yep. See you later.